The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. We start out the show each day, as we usually do, looking at the DAX. As you can see, we've been in a slight bullish mode. Well, not slight. It's been pretty bullish here these last couple of days, and we're reaching some nice targets uh, up here this morning. But that's not the important one, folks. The one that looks real interesting is the one we talked about uh, late last week and then also early this week, and that is the the FTSE. And uh, if you take a look at this one, we had that big ABCD pattern forming up there at uh, 7780, and we dropped all the way down to 7680. And uh, you can see it was a perfect ABCD down. Uh, the the C the BC leg was 3A2. And the uh, the ABC leg was just about perfect in time, too. And uh, when you look at an hourly chart, it uh, really um, makes it look quite nice. Folks, you know, one of the things, uh, someone's asked me why I do the, the mentoring that I do. Uh, when these folks send me these charts, uh, it really warms my heart to, to see them, uh, you know, unfold as traders and stuff and doing the technical work it it, it really has made me uh, and, and my whole family, Sarah, too, because we have so many people that, that we've met across the, the, whole, the whole globe. Yesterday, we had some friends from uh, Italy stop by, uh, drove all the way down from Scottsdale where they're going to one of the spas and uh, uh, took me uh, to dinner and uh, had a great time. And uh, it's been over 15 years that they've been doing this, and it's really been a, a great deal of fun for me to you know, to meet some of these people, but uh, it, it's really quite warming. Let's take a look at one of the charts that our good friend, Mr. Z, uh, posted uh, just about, uh, oh, I think it was, oh my gosh, it was about a week ago, I believe. And if we can just get it down here, this is that cocoa chart that uh, we were looking at with uh, John, and uh, it, it made a beautiful ABCD pattern. And you can see on the upside, we just completed the ABCD pattern. Uh, Yesterday, up at that uh, 220, uh, 200 level, a uh, 2,000 level per ton, and now we're in the middle of uh, a pullback, which should pull us down to about 1890. And if the trend is really good, it should stop above that point. Now that could be, you know, the C leg of a big A B C D leg to the downside. So I am not sure. Uh, you know what's going to happen yet, but the good part is nobody else is either. That's the real key uh, to looking at some of these things. That's for sure. I wanted to take just a moment to sh take a chart of IBM here because uh, yesterday IBM completed one of these patterns that we look at uh, quite a bit. You'll notice we had the uh, ABCD pattern from August, uh, you know, through uh, right right around Thanksgiving. It bottomed and then it had the big move up with a couple of gaps. But you'll notice here there's virtually no unfilled gaps in IBM. There's one way back down there in 2016 at uh, 124, but almost all of these other gaps have been filled. So that's what happens to gaps usually, but you know, with the Dow Jones, that hasn't happened yet. But it's coming. I don't. I just, uh, just not sure when. But IBM now is due for a pretty good correction. We're down about six dollars already. Uh, evidently, this was the first time in 23 quarters that revenue increased. You'd think that would be very bullish, but evidently it didn't increase enough. So there's a case of, you know, the news was uh, following the trend, and now we should be pulling back. The last pullback we had in IBM, you know, went from 163 down to 146. So we had a $17 break, and a $17 break would take you down to um, 153, and that would be at the 61% retracement of the move from November to December. So those are, you know, something to keep in mind. If you follow IBM, that would be interesting to see if it's going to continue that pattern. I don't do anything in stocks, so, you know, the only reason I have an interest in it is because someone will send me the chart and maybe ask me a question or someone in the den will uh, ask a question. And then, of course, you know, I'll certainly um, 
take a look at it because the stocks and the commodities and foreign exchange, they all look alike. They certainly do. There's no question about that. All right, let's take a look at another uh, one of the uh, computer type stocks, and this is Applied Materials. Here again, you can see here with Applied Materials, uh, you have a very distinct a three drive pattern happening up here at point D. Uh, the same thing has happened uh, yesterday. Uh, evidently, the earnings were not quite as good, and <clears throat> the stock is down a couple dollars a share already. Uh, that's basically completing that. And that could be a double top uh, that we're looking here uh, in applied materials. But it's still, you know, rather early, and how much it's going to back off, I don't know. For those of you that like Fibonacci, and I know there's a few of you out there, just take a look at what happened to the Dow Jones going to the exact 78% retracement last night. And look at the NASDAQ going to the new highs in the NASDAQ, but the others did not. And if you look at the S&P, it also went up to uh, the 78% level and then has uh, back, they've all backed off since that level. As Tom said in the previous uh, segment, that uh, the Russell has been the weakest, and it's, it certainly has been. It has not even been able to make a 61% retracement over this last three days when we've had this uh, tremendous volatility. One of the questions that was asked this morning, does the shutdown of the government you know, mean anything? Boys and girls, are you kidding me? Shutdown of the government? That'd be like God going on strike. You know, it's just all political stuff. You know, I don't know what they're going to do. They hurt some people that have government contracts, of course, but uh, the big boys never get hurt. So, you know, it's just a matter of negotiation and uh, power, which is unfortunate, but uh, it's no longer about the country. It's about, you know, per, uh, uh, personal interest of people, and that's all you can do. Okay. Uh, I wanted to take a quick uh, gander here at another one that said one of our uh, students from uh, from Tokyo sent a really nice chart here on the dollar yen that we've been following uh, over the past couple of days. It's had a really beautiful pattern. Uh, in fact, is the sea leg yesterday up at that 111.20 level. We pointed that out as being a very, very important Fibonacci level. And uh, from that level, we dropped, uh, you know, well over 80 pips right down into the 78% level where we're trading uh, right about now. So that completes another ABCD pattern. This is the kind of charts that folks send me, and it, it really makes me feel good to see that they've, you know, they see the patterns and they see the ratios. And uh, that's only part of it because the, the hard part is the trading part. And the trading part is where you have to simulate it for yourself. You have to take the responsibility for your trades. Um, you know, one of the things that my best friend, Mark Douglas, you know, taught me all over the years that I, the 30 some years that I was able to hang out with him, uh, and he wrote the book, uh, Trading in the Zone, here in our office in Tucson, uh, is the fact that it's the, the nine inch cycle that's the important one, the one that goes from your left ear to your right ear. You know, that's uh, the main thing of seeing. <laughs> You're right, Mr. Z. Uh, he's reminding me of the butterfly patterns because. When I first found these patterns, uh, this was way back, oh my God, 40 some years ago, uh, my daughter would cut out the old commodity perspective charts where I had drawn in all the triangles. And then she would color them in and by golly, they were butterflies and she'd put them on the refrigerator. She's a doctor now. Okay, let's take a break. 877-927-6648. The Taz Profile Scanner Plus, developed by John Logan and his team, is a standalone piece of software that can change the way you trade. Let the Taz Profile Scanner work for you by scanning over 5,000 financial instruments such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. Right now, you can get a 30-day free trial to the Taz Profile Scanner Plus right at TFNN.com. And when you sign up, you gain instant access to John Logan its most recent webinar, How Price, Volume, and Time Make Market Profiles So Unique. This hour-long webinar with John Logan will walk you through the most powerful features of the scanner and how you can use it to become a more successful and profitable trader. You pay absolutely nothing for 30 days while you try out this software risk-free. For more information on the Taz Profile Scanner and to get your 30-day free trial today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. 
Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN. Dot com now. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Eddie Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high definition audio and video. Tiger TV exclusively at TFNN. FNN.com. Larry takes your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 445 1044. Okay, we're back, folks, and we promised our good friend David from down in Florida to take a look at these notes and bonds today. Uh, we posted the note chart in. This is the one that's uh, updated. Uh, we've hit that ABCD pattern this morning uh, spot on. I mean, it just uh, went exactly the extra 12 ticks down that we were expecting that it would do. doesn't always work that way, but it did today. We want to keep an eye on that. And the main reason is if we take a look at the really big trading vehicle, which is the 30-year Treasury bond, uh, this is the one that's the most volatile because of the uh, fact that there's so many people that uh, like the contract size or whatever it happens to be. Uh, the daily ranges are much bigger. But if you'll notice uh, yesterday, uh, we hit the exact 1.618 expansion from um, January, uh, excuse me, from December 20th into December uh, 27th. Uh, that was a 1.618 expansion, it's almost perfect 1.2. We've already rallied. Uh, well over three quarters of a point. So this should be the start of the rally. I I don't think we'll get much above the the, the 151 level, maybe only to 150 and change, because this is a very bearish market, folks. Uh, it just really, you know, something's going to have to happen in order for it to change my mind. And the only thing that would do that would be a, a really monster uh, move up day where you get about a two or three point move in Treasury bonds. Uh, maybe a point or so in Treasury notes saying that they've caught a lot of people on the short side, and then uh, we'll most probably get a bigger a bigger move. But longer term, this this market is really not in very good shape. We can see that, you know, just by looking at the Treasury note chart here. We'll pull it up here on the long term uh, weekly, and you can see here that this is uh, in a downtrend, and it has been in a downtrend really uh, since 2012 is when notes made their they're low. And then, of course, in mid-2016, uh, uh, we made that double top, which was the show head of the head and shoulders pattern. And that tells us we're going down about seven handles, you know, from this level. But we're very oversold right now, you know, being down seven weeks in a row, which is, uh, you know, uh, very, very negative. So look for a, a 382 re retracement in that, which would be about, I think, three, point, three to four points in bonds. And about two points uh, in the notes, I uh, have to, you know, like Jim Twentyman says, defy human nature, uh, do your work yourself on that one. Because you're the one that has to take, uh, you know, to take a look at the, uh, 
uh, you know, the responsibility of putting these trades on because that's what's uh, really necessary. Oh, by the way, I did talk to my friend Asen in uh, uh, Sofia, Bulgaria, the fellow who made it really big in the Bitcoin, and he declined to come on the radio show um, for two reasons. One, he, he didn't want to sound like he was, uh, you know, beating on his chest too much, but mainly he said, uh, my English is not that good, which is, I told him, I said, that's not an excuse, Ace, because I've talked to you, you know, so many times over a five-year period that your English is perfect. And he said, yeah, he said, I really just don't want to talk about it. And I said, I can understand that. And I asked him, you know, what he's done with some of the money. And uh, he is uh, very smart. He put some of the money in gold. And he's still in. He's still in over 50% of his Bitcoin position. And he's bought, uh, he's bought some really nice pieces of property for his family. And he's given a lot of money away to a hospital there in uh, Sofia, Bulgaria. And he's 31 years old. Boy, I tell you, he's a really smart boy. He hit it at the right time, just like a gold miner's back in the old... Uh, 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 Sutter's Mill in 1849, finding gold in California. There's gold in them there hills. Yep, yeah, his average. Well, he bought it on the way up too, Mr. Z. He he was very aggressive too. You know, he bought some. I don't know exactly. He started buying at five. That's when he was uh, working at Google, and Google was, uh, you know, getting interesting in it. They only had a very few people doing that type of work, and after about a year, he realized that he was wasting his time there, and then went in and uh, went ahead and uh, did a, did a, did great. I, I mean, I've talked to a few people who've had a little bit of Bitcoin, but nothing like what he had, and that's uh, that's always good to see. But and not only that, but but taking money out of the market, you know, to really enjoy the fruits of. Uh, fruits of his labor. And not only that, but he's a, just a great guy. He's just a, a super nice fellow. So that's uh, that's what's really nice. Sarah and I met him in uh, 2010 over in California at one of the money shows. He came in to learn to be a currency trader, and we broke up. We, we, we built a re relationship over these uh, seven years, and he, he's done incredibly well. Okay, let's move on to we've, – we've covered uh, IBM – uh, we've covered uh, AMAT. I wanted to show you a couple of these that just absolutely, I was watching, uh, uh, listening to Basil this morning, or yesterday actually, on some of these stocks, but I was shocked to see what some of these stocks have done. Let's just take a look here at uh, at Boeing Airlines. I mean, this is just an absolute, uh, it's not Bitcoin, but boy, it's a pretty good one. If you notice here, uh, in January of 2016, that's when we were extremely bullish stocks because we had completed, you know, the first big ABCD pattern. You can see it here very clearly in Boeing, but it was the same thing on the indices and, you know, just about everything else. And then we had this uh, huge move. But look at the parabolic move on this. This has been, uh, you know, unbelievable. I mean, it's, well, it's you got to believe it because it's happening. But the, the way some of these things have moved has just been absolutely, Absolutely uh, uh, incredible, which is good. You know, some people have made a great deal of money off of it, and that's what's uh, that's what's important. Ethereum has done well too. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of them that have done it, and some of see, there's 1,200 cryptocurrencies. It's not about cryptocurrencies; it's about the blockchain. That's that's where the real thing is. The cryptocurrency is the, you know, those are the flashing lights on the freeway, but the building of the freeway is the blockchain. Uh, John Jameson has showed me that this is where the real money is. Now, let's take a look at uh, another one that uh, really shouldn't be this high, and that is Caterpillar. Now, you know, we our agricultural prices are way down, and there's no way these farmers are adding, you know, tractors and stuff. Fortunately, Caterpillar builds all kinds of things for building. You know, they're really big into earth movers and all that other stuff, and you can see that pattern has been a monster pattern also, and look where it stopped, at least so far, was right at the, the 1.618 expansion. So maybe that means something. Maybe it doesn't, but Fibonacci's always out there lurking somewhere. So, you know, keep an eye on it because you just never know when Mr. Fibonacci is going to ring the bell one more time. So let's uh, always uh, remember that. That's for sure. Okay, oh, I did I did want to show you this. was This was the Treasury notes uh, yesterday that we were talking to uh, David about the fact that we hadn't quite hit that uh, that exact price that we were looking for. And then the one we're going to update today here, you're going to see that we did get down and we did hit that exact price today. And now uh, we should get the rally. And now you're, the, what's good about this pattern is the fact that uh, you don't have to risk very much here, folks. This is really... Uh, 
you know, really, really something. So, see, I agree with you, Tucker. That uh, Boeing chart does not match what uh, we're seeing in the real world. But, you know, the uh, prices go where they're supposed to go. That's the, that's the main thing, you know, to keep in mind. So I think that's quite important. No guests today, folks. It's me for the whole hour. So if you have any questions, please call in 877-927-6648. And I think we'll probably come up to a commercial break here pretty soon. It says the clock on the wall should be doing it, and then we'll uh, we'll see what's going on. Uh, someone's asked a question about the crude oil. I'll cover that. I'll cover the crude after the break, and uh, we'll we'll do that uh, soon as the break is over. Because I believe we're supposed to have the break now. I must have my my watch must not be working. Hmm. There we go. There we go. Here comes the commercial. 877-927-6648. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading in larry's first week alone he sent out 25 charts six videos and a full report to his subscribers in just one week if you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade then larry's service fibonacci 24 7 is something that you must try right now new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee with nothing to risk sign up now to larry pesavento's fibonacci 24 7 by visiting the front page of tfnn.com under trading newsletters in quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full custom capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and we've had a request to take a look at coffee. Uh, we did this last week. And uh, you'll notice that we went right down to that 78% level, just a tad below it, uh, not even enough to make a difference around that 121 level. Uh, we got to uh, 120 uh, and change, and now we're up 10 cents a pound here in the coffee. And we left a big gap with a big range yesterday. That tells us that we've got a minimum of a 134, another 4 cents higher. And this could be a major bottom uh, in coffee because of this gap and this uh, big move up. There might be uh, a problem with, uh, you know, some place in South America 
or uh, Africa, where most of the coffee comes from uh, on a crop basis. But, you know, I don't follow coffee, but the chart is certainly there. And it's telling us that it has certainly made a turn from that uh, little pullback that uh, that we were we were focusing on. So I think it's uh, it's pretty interesting. We're having a pretty nice move here in stocks early this morning. The early morning sell-off in the S and P down there at that uh, 2796 level was a perfect 78 percent retracement from the low yesterday to the overnight high at the 78 percent level. And now we've gone back above it. We're approaching new highs again. In the S&P, you have to love this. You don't you don't get this any place but at TFNN. By the way, you have some news. There's going to be a shutdown at TFNN, folks. It's a bread, a news flash here. They're shutting down for Saturday and Sunday, but they will reopen on Monday. Uh, the the budgeting for the uh, government at TFNN will be back in business on Monday after the Saturday and Sunday holidays. And that is, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna look at the crude oil right now, Russ, I'm sorry, I'll try to stop being funny. That's the end of it, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, folks. It's tough doing this radio show. Here we come right now. Uh, yeah, coffee is, uh, uh, no, 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 coffee is uh, trading at 130. Uh, that's what I'm seeing. What am I doing wrong here? Uh, whoa, whoa, I don't know what's wrong. Uh, maybe my coffee data is wrong. I'm sorry, I should have, uh, I don't trade coffee. All I did was pull up the chart from eSignal, and uh, evidently that's a bad price in the coffee. Sorry, folks. Uh, I know the pullback was right, but it's trading at 120, so it's still down at the 78% level. That's got to be bad data. Wait a minute, this is this is January. They wouldn't be switching March, March coffee yet. Anyway, let's get on to crude oil. That that one I follow all the time. I'm sorry, Bob, about that. I uh, I, I don't know what's wrong. I'll, I'll have that corrected by Monday, but uh, you know, just stay with it. <laughs> I don't do I don't do any drinking. I uh, never have. Anyway, uh, let's take a look at the crude oil. We were talking about this big A B C D pattern that finally completed. Uh, it came within uh, ten cents. One second. <laughs> Excuse me. <sighs> It just came in at the uh, within 10 cents. Well, actually, yeah, well, actually within five cents of the actual uh, ABCD pattern here. And now we're, it looks like we're getting ready with this tiny bit of a thrust we've had this morning. We might be ready for a pretty good rally in here. Um, the last rally that we had in crude went to dollar ten a barrel. So you'd be looking for a dollar ten a barrel. Which would take you up to the 63.90, which would be a 61% uh, retracement from the high on Wednesday, and that would be a 135 pattern. But you've got to be careful because this is a Friday. You don't want it to get there really quickly because uh, you'd want to wait to see it get there late in the day, if anything, or even wait until either Sunday for trading or Monday. That's what I would probably, uh, you know, take a look at. So we'll be uh, waiting to see. If this is going to be uh, something that is going to be, uh, you know, very, very important. Um, there is a um, one other thing here. I have to get get some business here. Hold on out of the way here. And I want to show one other chart that someone has asked me about. Give me one second, please. And that is the gold market. Let's take a quick look here at the gold market. Uh, we've just completed the first uh, sell signal in gold since this thing bottomed back in uh, December the 11th at uh, 1238 uh, an ounce. This is the first bearish Gartley that I found uh, in this uh, since that time. And that came in at uh, 1338, $100 uh, an ounce higher. So that's the first one. Now, if this is correct, we could be looking at an ABCD down that would take us down to around, uh, you know, 1314 to 1310. That would be down $34. Uh, from the high, and you certainly want to, you know, take a really close look at that one very, very closely. I'm watching the area of 1306 because if it can take that out and find support right there, that's going to be very, very bullish, you know, to the gold. Uh, the silver is still acting, you know, it's lagging badly, but it's still holding up okay. So there's not really uh, anything uh, wrong with this. And this this gardly pattern could very easily fail because, you know, gold's up sharply this morning. It could easily go popping through the old highs at that 1345 level uh, without any trouble. Uh, we've only had a, 
a $20 retracement so far in the gold. So that's uh, uh, you know pretty pretty interesting. Yes, the the bonds and notes should start a rally. We looked at that yesterday for uh, David down in Florida, and it, it certainly and it started. I don't know if it's going to continue or not, but the patterns completed in the notes uh, on the daily chart and also on the bond chart. And uh, even though they you know they they made new lows, they didn't go down anywhere because we're looking at patterns and not anything in the news that's uh, what we think our edge is and that's where you you know you buy your uh, position there and put your stop right below the 1.618 level and if you're right you'll make a few bucks if you're wrong you take a really small loss and move on and go to the next frog before you find the princess that's all you can do someone's asked a question about the fundamentals of IBM boys and girls <laughs> I don't know anything about fundamentals, never have. I used to look at them years ago, I mean, talking 50 years ago, and after I realized that the charts were really, uh, I saw so many times where the market was so bearish and it would rally or make an absolute low and so bullish and make an absolute high. I said, there's got to be something different. And that's uh, when I got into technical analysis, which was in the, uh, exactly 1970 was my first uh, uh, venture into it. That's when I first got the book, the Gartley book, but I didn't really look at it till I lost all my money in 74 and I got a little smarter. So I better figure out what this technical analysis stuff is all about. So anyway, if you've ever had any trouble, read the book, Reminiscences of a Stock Operator uh, by Edwin Lefevre. That was the pen name for uh, Jesse Livermore. And uh, it really tells you about psychology of trading and it's just really a fabulous book. I've read that book uh, at least 50 times. I want to spend just a few seconds here on these gaps in the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Let me get this last one. This is from Monday, and we even have a bigger one than that. Uh, you're welcome, Russ. On the, I don't know if I'm right on the crude oil, but that's what it looks like. It's just a nice pattern that completed, and it looks like it's ready to have a little bit of a rally here. Uh, heating oil, uh, Russ, has been... Uh, uh, you know, lagging very badly here. And considering all the cold weather that they've had, that, that heating oil should have gone 10 cents higher, and it didn't, and had a really hard time even making a new high. So uh, getting back to these uh, the gaps in the Dow Jones, folks, we've had 11 of them since the solar eclipse back on the 21st of August, and they will be filled. And uh, the question is, I'm not sure when, um, but they will be. And I, I will, I believe 100% we're going to see a down day of more than 500 points uh, in the Dow Jones sometime in the next uh, month. And that is nothing more than a 1.618 expansion of the biggest down move we've had so far, which has been 300 points. And that was in her day, I believe on Monday. So, uh, a Tuesday, so let's uh, just keep watching that because it's uh, nothing more than history repeating itself, you know, over and over again. 877 927 6648. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. Everbank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, call 1-855-750-4051 to find out what they can do for you. That's 1-855-750-4051. Call them today. Everbank bank is a member fdic and equal housing lender tfnn has put together the finest programming lineup each trading day featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors on mondays wednesdays and fridays we broadcast eight hours a day starting at 9 a.m as larry pesavento kicks us off with trade what you see Tuesdays and Thursdays. We broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour following the Tom O'Brien Show. Swim lessons from TD Ameritrade Thicker Swim is now at 11 a.m. followed by Basil Chapman at 12 noon. 
See the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN shows and hosts. And keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour, brought to you by Nadex, next on TFNN. Okay, we're back, folks. I wanted to talk uh, just a little bit about the overall psychology of uh, trading, because when we look at these patterns, you know, that's the easy part. You know, anybody can draw lines and calculate ratios and stuff. The hard part is saying, where do I want to enter? And where do I want to get out? And how much do I have to risk? You know, that's the real key. And that's what trading is really all about. You have to focus on the mental part. And I believe the only way that you can really uh, look at this is if you'll take a look at the um, situation where, uh, you know, you're really bullish something and it doesn't go up, you have to get out. And if you really bury something and it doesn't go down, you've got to get out. That's, uh, you know, really what it's all about. The only way you can beat this demon is to go to people that have had uh, experiences doing this and go to read books like Reminiscences of the Stock Operator, uh, two books, the fabulous books, The Disciplined Trader by Mark Douglas and Trading in the Zone by Mark Douglas, the fabulous books, the books by Anthony Robbins on um, uh, neuro-linguistic programming, using somebody like Adrian Togare, you know, from Trading on Target that, that can help you with the mental part. And she's, uh, you know, incredibly helpful and has a lot of, you know, fun things and free things that'll help you too. You know, she does a, um, a analysis of, uh, you know, what your psychology is. And she's pretty good at it, believe me. She's been doing it for 30-some years. So you get a lot of experience doing that. But those are the kind of books that are really good. Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill is, is a fabulous book. And there's others. You know, I've mentioned uh, The Light from Many Lamps by Lillian Watson is, is a great book on, on doing stuff like that. So keep in mind. Yes, the, the, we did hit that 1.618 expansion uh, on the bonds. We were pointing that out yesterday, thanks to you. And uh, we, re we really appreciated the call we got from David because he brought that note chart to our attention. It went right down to the exact price. It dropped another 12 ticks, $350 uh, into that area and stayed there for a while so you could get filled, which is very unusual. So those are some of the things that you want to uh, to keep an eye on. But uh, we're having some pretty good volatility here on Friday. It's an up week on a Friday. Uh, and so it's uh, we're almost at new highs in the uh, in the S and P. I'm not sure about the others, but you know what's happened now. You know, in the bonds, we went up to 149.13, and we're going back down to test that bottom again. And if we get much below uh, 148.22, that's not going to be a good sign, boys and girls. Uh, I would think that would be. Uh, you know, pretty much, of course, it started with some type of a profit. So if you, I'm not happen to be in that trade, but uh, you certainly would, you know, put your stop at the break even level, which is right in here is where you would have been buying it, right around 148.28. So don't risk more than about five pips on this one, because if it fails, uh, this market is overall extremely bearish, as we've been talking about, you know, for quite some time, and uh, nothing has changed. You know, we have virtually. Uh, you know, no rally, and when we made that ABCD in the bonds at the 151.08 um, uh, level, 
uh, up at just right below, two ticks below the 61% retracement. We've been straight down just about, uh, you know, two and a half handles. So that's, uh, that's quite a bit. But we're approaching new highs in the stock market. And again, the people that are buying stocks must be selling bonds to buy stocks. But that's what's happening. Let's take a quick look here uh, just to see if we're making a new high in the uh, New York Stock Exchange Index. And uh, not yet. It's just still quite a bit away uh, from that level. And let me take a quick look here. Uh, I'm looking over at my shoulder, uh, looking at Bloomberg, where I can pick up the uh, prices of these things. And I know what the highs are. So I just have to, you know, to double check, to check and see how the, uh, oh, the Russell's just barely bouncing. So it's still, you know, quite bearish, uh, not a problem. But anyway, the others are actually doing okay. The NASDAQ, I'm going to be doing the best. Let me double check this one just to see, because that's been the strongest of the whole group. And uh, yes, we've just made another new high in the NASDAQ. Uh, that, yeah, we did take that. We took out the high from the 16th, so we took out that high. Uh, that's actually completed a butterfly pattern up here at this 68.58 level. So uh, keep an eye on that. If it doesn't get a lot stronger, uh, that could be a very interesting one. Uh, after the I wouldn't do anything until after the first hour of trading because that's uh, amateur hour when people do all their buying and stuff. So watch it. But the key today is to watch these bonds because if if they break much below this 148.22 level, folks, that's going to be a, a really negative sign. Uh, that's for sure. Let's let's double check the notes uh, real quickly to see if they've made a new low or not, and then we will uh, we'll know a little bit better. Can't do everything at once here, but I'm going to try for just a second here. And um, the notes uh, notes have just matched the low. Now, they've been there the 18th. We're back at the lows again at uh, 122.09. Uh, 122.10 was the target price. So you don't want to risk more than the most would be, you know, five pips. You're looking at about 150 bucks. And, you know, you're talking about a contract that's worth, uh, you know, north of 100 grand. So that's a very, very low risk. But if it fails here, you know, that's that 1.618. And, you know, it already rallied. You know, the note the notes rallied over $500 uh, after it made it the first time. And now we're down here the third time. So this could be a, a major failure here. Uh, they're, you, they're just breaking right now. They're, that That's what it looks like. Uh, you know, I'm uh, I'm out of it now, so <laughs> thought I had a nice profit in it, but now I'm uh, I'm underwater. Um, yeah, I'm out. I'm out now. There, I just gave him back my five my five ticks in the bonds, but uh, should have probably raised my stop a little bit, but too busy here. Anyway, but these are breaking pretty badly. The only other number that you can actually hold on to is the 1.27 level uh, in the bonds, which comes in at uh, 158 uh, 148.18, but. I wouldn't. I wouldn't even actually touch that either. This thing is breaking below key levels, folks. This is not, not good for interest rates. Interest rates are going higher, but it won't have anything to do with the stock market. We can already see what's happening. Stock market goes up, bonds go down. That's basically the you know that's where the money is until that changes. Nothing's going to change. That's uh, what it looks like. Anyway, I hope that helps. You know, it's all about risk control. It's not how much you. Uh, make it's how much you risk and that's the real key focus on how much money you've got at risk not how much money you can make and you'll be a success in this business that's where the winners think how much money i can lose and losers think how much money i can win and that's how las vegas makes all their money is on uh, you know the hopes and dreams just like the lottery business you know 390 million to one to uh, win the lottery but even i play it a dollar so <laughs> You just never know, do you? All right, we want to get back to the currencies a little bit. Uh, the euro has uh, had some pretty good moves in here. Hasn't done very much, but the key level here that we really need to watch is the dollar index. I want to get this here to take a look at it because we've, um, oh, shucks. I got the, oh, just a minute. Let me get the right chart up here. Please tell me I got the right chart. I know I haven't. There it is. Just give me a second. I'm sorry. Here we go get too excited about the trading part. All right, let's get here's the dollar index. You can see that 8980 level in the in the uh, the Dow, um, the dollar index. If we break below that, folks, uh, that is extremely bearish. Now the dollar should be really really strong given the fact that interest rates are going higher in the US. You know, we're down here uh, below the 148 uh, 27 level and uh, <clears throat> 
148.18 is the 1.27 expansion, and uh, these markets are just very bearish. So uh, if you do take, you can take a, uh, a nibble at them here, just like um, we tried in the notes. Uh, but uh, you know you don't have to risk very much, and that's the that's the key. I I would view this as a failed pattern. It might rally a little bit later, but it's going to rally without me for sure. We're going to take a break. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of The Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. No matter what kind of trader you are, 2018 is a great time to try out a subscription to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. Whether you just plan on diversifying your portfolio with some exposure to gold and gold mining equities, or you're a gold bull that sees 2018 as the year of commodities, now is a great time to sign up for the Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his Gold Report every Monday morning before the market opens and covers a variety of topics including gold, silver, platinum, copper, the XAU and HUI, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as more than 20 of the most actively traded mining equities. Start your 2018 off with a bang and sign up for the Gold Report today. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. For all the details and to start your subscription right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com and you'll find the Gold Report under Investment Newsletters. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and I wanted to put the chart in of the NASDAQ that we were talking about. And as you can see, it made a really nice uh, three-drive pattern there this morning. Uh, right up at that level at 56 that we were looking at, and uh, it's already dropped 20 handles uh, from that spot. So if you got anywhere near that uh, level, you know, put your stop above that high, and because if it gets above that, it would certainly uh, be a failed pattern. But it did make a new high. We did not make a new high uh, in the S&P, nor did we make a high in the New York Stock Exchange Index, and the Russell, of course, is by far the weakest of the markets. If you wanted to short anything, short the weakest. The old rule from uh, Jesse Livermore is you want to buy the strongest in a group and sell the weakest in a group. That's the, the best way to do it. And another, folks, if you're ever on margin call for something, get rid of the get rid of the things that are hurting you. In other words, if you got three positions on and two of them are bad and one of them is good, get rid of the get rid of the bad ones. Don't hope that the bad ones are going to come back. 
get rid of the get rid of the bad ones that are hurting you and stay with the stay with the good men uh, stay with the good ones. Uh, uh, Amos Hostetter used to give lectures about that. You know, get rid of the ones that are hurting you and keep the ones that are good. You know, so uh, I think that's the important thing to remember. And you should never answer a margin call because that just tells you that your money management is wrong and you're increasing your risk. So. That's another thing that you should never do, but those are things on money management that we should cover someday uh, in the show here instead of just looking at patterns all the time because I know you get bored looking at the patterns, And uh, but the money management and the mental part is the real important part of the trading. So keep in mind that that's the thing that is, uh, you know, really, uh, really, really important. So this is about it. I guess we've got to watch these gaps because when they start to being filled, we'll be keeping you updated one at a time. There's 11 of them out there since August 21st, and uh, that's going to be very interesting, you know, to see if this is going to be the case. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless, and have a wonderful weekend. folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks!